Hello guys, Cheeto here. How's it going? It's a wonderful day in the prison and man, I'm recording this a bit early. Um, really early actually because I'm, I, I've run out of internet. I've kind of run out of internet because the uh, cable company, are just they just do greedy. It's really annoying that I have data limits on uh, broadband internet service. Nothing I can do about it because I just have to switch to a suckier place, huh? Anyway, so I'm pretty much literally stuck in uh, stuck in this place until I can regain some internet. But figured, well, might as well record since uh, got nothing else to do. So I'll be recording a lot of offline stuff because that's all I can get to. All right. Since last time, I've installed a couple of mods, and these are a little necessary. Um, it seems like no matter what I do, Applied Energistics uh, recipe kind of system, let's find something we can craft, like a, uh, a plank. You know, one plank is from one lot, or four planks from one log. Won't shift click. This didn't have it either, but I've changed it. I've added uh, the NEI add-ons mod so that we can at least encode patterns to, for automatic crafting. So I will work on an AE system crafting terminal maybe later if I have time. I'm going to need a lot of quartz crystals though, and I don't have that. Uh, secondly, on the list, I've added uh, I've had this actually a long time in the mod pack, but I've only recently been able to use it because now I have mod spawners. But I have installed extra utilities. That gives us these transfer pipes and transfer nodes. It's a pretty handy mod. Um, I think it's a little more efficient than these conductive pipes because they can transfer power and uh, liquid and all those other stuff, but I, I don't, I'm not sure. I'll have to read up. Uh, I know that these lose, I think, 5% of their power every time they go through a pipe, and that's not good. But it's not necessarily bad either. But I I don't know. Other than that, these transfer nodes, for, these energy transfer nodes right here, um, they store their own power as well. So I mean, you get a little bit of surplus. So let's grab about four. I think we'll just need four. And more of these transfer pipes, and they're fairly cheap too. You get 32 for the cost of. Let's see, that's. Three smooth stone, two glass, and a redstone, so it's fairly cheap. But I was going to redo my little lava system over here because it's taking up a little bit of room, and I've also made a tank. Had to empty out some of it, you can see it right over there. But we got about 100,000 buckets, so it's been running for a really long time. But this is the newer system right here, it's going to be super compact. You just take up this little 3x3 three three square and then whatever goes off to this tank. So, let's take a peek. Uh, that's 12 engines right there. 3, 6, 9, 12. Mm -hmm. So, let's do another 3 down. Whoop. 2, 3. Okay. And now we can install the rest of the magmatic engines. I'm jumping right into things today. Then we'll open up a door. Because I want to see what's on the other side of the door. Alright. Then... Let's see, that should be enough to power two of these magmatic engines. The other thing I can do is I can install... Oop, come on. Upgrades. These right here, transfer node upgrades. The way the transfer nodes work is they go down the line of transfer pipes and check for available inventories. So it's not just whatever's next, like a regular transport pipe, it's, you know, whatever is next on the line randomly I'm not sure these are pretty pricey and we're gonna, probably gonna want a lot of them if we want maximum efficiency but I'm pretty sure we'll be fine without them uh, looks like oh okay I forgot some engines but that's fine we'll t carry this down here switch this to that mode there we go and let's see, we want to bring this around to this side. Oop. There we go. 
block that off too. So now what we'll do is we want to pull liquids out of this tank. So let's see, I've got, um, pretty sure it's linked to this tank. So what I want to do is get rid of the link. We'll go link it up with the other tank I had to move the lava to. Let me go over there. Come on. Just right click, or no, left click. Left click that in there, and then we can just dump it into here. Now the secret to this is you can't just, I don't think you can just right click. It has to be on a valve, so. Doing that should be raising the lava level, right? Maybe if I shift. There it goes, okay. You can see already there in the background that it's pretty empty. And I think we're out. Okay, so we got 300,000 buckets in there, or 300 buckets of lava, so that's a lot. So we'll put one of these liquid transfer nodes that should pull out lava. And let's see, what I think we want to do is do that, do that, except block that off, and that there. And we'll put a magma crucible here, and a magma crucible, it's right there, right here. Oop. There we go. Now these transfer pipes are really, really like space saving because they also they transfer anything that's connected to them. So it'll transfer power from these little power nodes in the middle and it'll transfer fluids even though I probably don't want to transfer fluids from here. So I'll do that. So what I want to do is, hmm, tough choice, huh? I don't know. I need to carry this over here, so. Tell it not to connect and go in there. And we should start getting power slowly, but surely. Something should be. See, there it goes. That's where it tells you it's looking. So I may want to upgrade that as much as I can. So let me get this whole thing sorted out and I will be right back. All right, well, I had to settle for the plain old one, one engine thing set up going on here. So here it is. Kind of looks like it goes down pretty far, but it actually kind of delivers all the energy and kind of like a sh like one burst. It the only thing is it kind of saves me a little graphical power because it doesn't have to do that little beam all the way across here and I'm pretty sure there's no energy loss. And this thing can hold quite a lot of power as you can see. 3000 MJ is holy crap. Yeah, that's a lot. So, this thing will have its own little buffer and it'll run for quite a long time. And of course, it is still powering in excess so this thing is slowly sending out lava and this is slowly getting more lava so in fact mm, yeah, let's throw our last speed upgrade in here there you go all right so that search is just a little bit faster anyway it's doing pretty good uh, I'm gonna have to leave it here uh, if we ever run low on another rack I'll just toss some of this in here maybe we'll even upgrade it to a different chest but these item these little transfer notes are pretty handy but I don't know. I did chalked it up for maybe like a cheaty point or something. Because that's probably against the rules. Oopsies. Alright, whoopsies. I went into a uh, full screen mode and I accidentally stopped the recording. Anyway. On to business. Okie dokie. Now, this right here. See, I think I just even like assembled it, you know, kinda in the chest last episode. I don't remember. That was a few days ago. But it's okay, let me, oh, I see a danger spot. All right, there, let's turn those off real quick. All right, oh, I'll get to this in a second, by the way. Eh, eh, eh. So notice how many logs we have, 12,000. Wondering what we're gonna use those for, not too sure. But other than that, I'm wondering 
if we can automate charcoal production, that would actually be pretty, pretty handy. And then we can just have infinite EU through charcoal. But I have no clue how to do that. There we go. L-E-S-U block. Alrighty. Now I'm assuming this stands for Lapis Laptronic Injury Storage Unit, but I'm not sure how it works. Maybe we gotta do this real quick. Like turn it into a real thing. But I'm assuming it will store some power. Or this will. Wait, why do they even do that? It's like they turned it into an acronym and then they expanded on the acronym. I don't know. But I'm wondering what this thing does. It's not work. Oh, there it goes. What the heck? It wouldn't work. Well, we got it now. I hope. Yeah, we did. Sometimes it'll break and then you're kind of screwed, but. This time we didn't, we got a little lucky. Alrighty. So now we're gonna jump right back over the fence. There we go. And turn everything in. And hopefully we'll get everything back as a reward, as we always do. And it's like, nope, you don't get your industrial centrifuge back. You don't need it. So, that, 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 that. Okay, hurry up. Isn't that what it want? Let's check. Yeah, that's what you want. One overclocker upgrades. Really? Can I not take that out? I don't... I thought it didn't count those. I thought, like, when you t destroy the block, it removes it, but... I don't know. Hold on. I, d I don't want to craft another one. But I guess if I have to, I have to. But why isn't it letting me... How do I remove them? Hold on. I think it's like... Losses wrench disabled, enabled. Maybe we need to turn it to loss wrench mode? Destruction wrench mode activated? Okay. No, it still doesn't... Doesn't remove it. Hmm. That's the only problem. I... Hold on. How do we make one? Shima, automatic extractor. Okay, I guess it's not too difficult to make. It's just inconvenient that we had to make another one. Be right back. Hopefully this gets accepted, otherwise I'm going to be a madman. Here we go. Better go in there now. Come on. There you go. That's what I thought. You better get in there. Alright, where's my reward? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Bam. Alright. Ooh, hey, we got another locked door. And another weirdly shaped area that's... What is this, like a mob spawner room? Jeez. Oh, man. I, I don't know. What do we get? Everything back. But what the heck is this for? I see some traitors in there. I don't see it. Uh, Ferris... Ferris ore, something ore, and iridium? Does that say iridium? I'm not sure. We don't really need anything back from here, so I'll leave it in there in case we ever want it back. I'll take the LESU just in case, you know, let's see what it does. Let's charge it up and see, maybe it's like a variable output uh, MFE or something. That would be really cool. Alrighty, so, um, I guess throw it here. Oh my god. Mmm. We lost some stuff. We lost, uh, my rotary macerator. And my MFE. And whatever was on top of oh, my recycler. We lost a lot of crap. Man. Oh, my geothermal generator, too. Oh, well. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know what to do. I uh, might have to cheat my way back in there because I think all my stuff is in that ME system. 
And I can't, oh good, I moved some stuff in here, or I just left it there. Alright, well we can hook some stuff back up. Let me, doop, doop, uh, doop, doop, do. Okay, good. Whew, that was almost catastrophic. Let's repair some of this crap. Alright, I got to recoup from my damages. BRB. Let's try this again. Bam, bam. Huh. I, I just can't even afford for it to explode again. Well, I guess, I mean, I can at this point, but I don't want to have to keep making the stupid thing. I'm gonna back up just in case it's like a self destruct thing. Alright. Holds a million EU, which isn't bad. Max EU in is 32. Okay, so it can hold a million EU, and it's uh, 32 EU is a tick. Uh, EU per tick out is 5. I wonder if that's variable. Okay. Now there's something I think called an adjustable. AESU, which is probably the most expensive thing in the whole wide world. Uh, yeah, iridium plate and iridium alloys and okay, well I'm gonna forget I even looked at that. Well, it's something we would put in place of this, and I'm pretty sure, hmm, I'm hoping I can replace it. Uh, let's charge this up just in case we need it to pick up the thing and then what I'm gonna do is once I get everything in order I'm gonna start making the industrial blast furnace so man oh no 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 bad 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 oh that could have been so terrible every machine would have exploded all right pro tip keep your wrench away from your active slot yeah so that's everything we need right there and let's go throw it together so it's not too expensive to make this it's a little inconvenient um, since and I think these are Galacticraft makes it a little easier but it doesn't really take less material but I'm starting to want to create the uh, circuits in the assembly machine because it takes half the amount of copper cable so there we go. One E industrial blast furnace. And I think uh, where's a good place to put this? Where does it say? Max EU in 128. So we'll want to put this near the MFE. So I think we'll put it just right here. All right, and then right here it tells you what we need to do. So incomplete machine casing. Next step would be to look up machine casing. Here we go. So we got standard, reinforced, and advanced. Since I have a lot of steel now, I can go ahead and get up to advanced. So it's telling us how to build the multi-block structure. It's a 9 by 9 or 3 by 3, a hollow 3 by 3 in the middle, and cap it off with a hollow 3 by 3, or a regular 3 by 3. So it's basically building one of these things, and just all mechanized and whatnot, and terrible, because it's Greg Tech, right there, Greg Tech. So I should have everything we need to complete that with the reinforce, so it takes uh, six steel plates, a machine hull, steel machine hull, so one of those in the middle, and where are my steel plates? Come on, I knew where they are, there you go. And what else? Advanced circuits. Bam, bam. All right, and that gives us four. Uh, we need 18, 16, oh, we need a lot. We got 24, so let's see where this gets us. Oh, it's got connected textures. That doesn't make up for how expensive it, it is. All right, so we need a bit more, so we need about 10 more. So that's actually not too bad. Um, I can do that, so let's see what we got in the 
ME system. We're out of steel machine casing, machine holes. So that's eight steel plates and machine parts. I can do that. So pull all those out and pull some of these out. So I got to get rolling these. Just kidding. There we go. I can just toss these in here. We need a couple more of those and what else? These advanced circuits. Hmm. We gotta wait for that thing to hurry up. But until then, let's see, I can do this. And to further increase the heat capacity, you put source blocks of lava in there. So I'll put two in there. That's what these red dots indicate. And now we just need to cap it off. So come on. I'll let this use the rest of it if it can. Um, it's not, it, they don't hurt since they're used for much, many more higher tier machines. So let's see if I can, oh crap, I need a block that won't cause electrical flow or something. So let's cap it off. There we go. And you can see the blinking red light turned into a green light. So heat capacity is 22,000 K Kelvin. So now we need to power it. And this means that we can get solar panels. So that takes one solar panel, which takes these silicon plates, which are inconvenient. But we got the heat capacity, and I don't really have a, almost a minute to wait for it, but I guess we'll have to. So. Man, I'm super excited we get to finally make some, uh, what you call it, solar panels. It will make powering this so much easier. Alright, let me get what I need to make some solar panels, because I want to make those now. Be right back. I just, I was back here lighting this up, and I just found this. wonder what the heck this is. Holy crap. Hey! Huh. The world's not loading in too well, but... Yeah, oh. I wonder... Oh, this is pretty cool. So I guess this is just like, hey, look at where the map is, look how I made it. And I wonder if this leads anywhere. I don't think it does. Yeah, it looks like... Uh, like it doesn't lead anywhere. Uh, well, okay, can't be up there, so it must be this door right here. Yep. Um. Okay, so not much in there, but we got a ladder to climb up. Let's see what's in this tower now. My farm is like right there, so. Oh, hey, there's a chest up here. I didn't even see it. Clanite ore. Clanite ore. It's not showing up for any use. So... Okay, we just got access to a tower. I'm wondering what this is used for. Anyway, I've still got a little bit more to do before I can make the first solar panel. But Greg Tech's got this thing on lockdown. So I can't even upgrade the solar panel until I get iridium or UU matter, but iridium, yeah. I gotta have a lot of iridium. So I have to work really hard for this. And we need to focus on making some uh, monster seeds. So I can use maybe gunpowder to make creeper seeds or skeletons to make uh, skeleton seeds or even zombie seeds I think so we'll toss that in there uh, that in there that in there and that that all right now we need to make this right here it's a solid fueled firebox we need to make nine of them one more there we go they used up all the furnaces and we also need to make some let's see 
high pressure steam boilers right there which actually is pretty easy um, which takes these steel plates right there and let's see how many will we need a lot I want to put it in this corner back here it's gonna be a little far away from everything but this thing has a high risk of uh, terrible terrible explosions so I don't want anything else to explode but this thing is, in, is known for some almost nuclear like ex detonations if you're not careful can I jump on this no I can't so we need to make this setup right here it needs to be four tall I believe so we're gonna need a lot more let me go let's see make some steel plates I found out what this does you don't you don't smelt it or macerate it you just break it with a pickaxe so I tried to get a little lapis on this pickaxe it's only got fortune 2 on it I don't have enough to put fortune 3 I think let me go check because the auto smelt does not work on it if it smelts it then it won't apply fortune to it so lapis got some lapis let's compressorate some of this lapis lazuli do this go ahead and get that going um, while it's doing that we'll just toss it in there with the regular lapis so let's see one here one here and what I like to do is just fill up my inventory with everything else and just shift click like so so I don't know how many we need so I'll make another 20 and once we put all this together, it should combine into a multi-block, so, so that's one, two, three, four. And there we go. So this is a one giant solid fueled firebox. So right here we're going it has an interface for water, temperature, uh steam. I might have got that backwards. This is steam, this is water and fuel right here in the middle so the biggest thing I think it says is uh, if it's dry so if there's no water in there and you put water in it while it's like superheated then you're gonna get a pretty terrible explosion so I am going to hook an aqueous accumulator up to it so it will constantly get water all the time no matter what so let's see if we have one I'm fairly certain we have one somewhere I know we do okay so that'll fill up pretty quickly and all we need to do is do a steady supply of charcoal or cold coke whichever one we want I'll do charcoal because we got plenty of it right here and it'll consume fuel like crazy for now, of course, because it needs to heat up to at least uh, 100 degrees Celsius. That is, of course, when water starts turning into steam. That's as far as I've gotten in this tutorial, so now we need to make, we can make the steam oven, which takes more steel. This is pretty handy, it runs off of the steam, and uh, we can do, we can smelt like a 9x9 nine nine area inside this thing at once so it's really really handy and we can turn uh, the steam directly into MJ's with this with these steam engines or we can turn it into EU with these uh, steam turbine housings so that's three by two by two let's see that's six twelve twelve recipes that's four recipes worth of this that's a two by two by two, so yeah. So we need to, when this thing starts producing steam, oh, we need to get more. We're gonna need to find a way to funnel into something. So we're gonna start running out of space pretty quickly, so we're gonna have to, or we're gonna start running out of charcoal pretty quickly, so we're gonna have to find a way to get this thing running, running strong. 
I'm just keeping an eye on this thing, making sure it does not run out of power. And we, didn't, like I said, if it runs hot and where it's empty, we're gonna be SOL. I'm pretty sure we can just break it to get it to, you know, cool down a bit. But I don't want to have to run into that situation. So we gotta make what I think is a turbine disc. So that's three steel in this order right here no other order right no that's not it what's wrong steel ingots make a turbine blade it's not working it's gonna give me a stupid flagpole what yeah it's going it's just I can't this is, I can't even fathom that and I think I should be able to do this hopefully we use this in the steam boiler so we got a steam oven let's remove this so we can do makes a steam oven looks pretty cool and what we do is I'm pretty sure we're gonna need um, wooden a wooden pipe to get the steam out let's get two and an autarctic gate to do it automatically without an engine so hopefully how are you doing 98 degrees once it gets nice and hot it should automatically uh, produce steam oh come on there it goes come on let me see see what you got there it goes oh wow that a lot of steam really quickly um, it's using a little bit of water still for using fuel very quickly um, the cold coke lasts a little longer but yeah a, a lot longer but once it gets the hotter it is, the more, the less, ugh, the more efficient it will be. So we'll see if we can pipe it out. Yeah, there's the steam. And let's see if we can turn it into EUs with this. So we're going to have to remove this tree, I think. Here, let's just bring it a little further. Let's bring it out here. That way it's a little closer to where we need to be and it's like nope not like that give me that like that so we can put the turbine rotor in here and let's see what we can do about this red the signal off energy pulse All right, this is full of steam too. Okay, so what we can do is toss a buttload of oak logs in there. That should be enough, right? Oh God, it got rid of all the steam, didn't it? And what you'll see is once it gets this is done, it should do all nine of them in one fell swoop and we can automatically export them. Ooh, that made an awesome noise. Automatically export it into here. Because this is going to be a terrible mess if we let it explode. Alright, I'm pretty sure once this thing gets, needs to be used, it might output start outputting stuff but oh man we got a ticking time bomb on our hands now and hopefully we can harness it for the better of this let's play so again I would like to thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this episode please do leave a thumbs up next episode will open up the explosion whatever door and hopefully uh, we'll see what's behind the door in here hoping 
something really useful. I'm thinking we might be able to get our hands on some iridium in there and whatever might be around that corner. But yeah. Uh, if you like this episode, remember to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and I will catch you all next time. Bye.